There is a lot of talk these days about seasonality, and for good reason. Seasonal trends are important to understand. With TrendSpider's seasonality tool, you can dig deep into the historical performance of any asset to find exactly when it's prime to perform its best. Within the seasonality widget, we can quickly see a breakdown of seasonal strength by month of the year, week of the year, day of the week, even hour of the day. We can also add data points like mean change to find out not only when a stock tends to perform its best, but also what the average returns look like when it does. As you can imagine, there is a ton of alpha that can potentially be derived from this data. Take, for example, Apple here. When we set seasonality to day of the week, we see clear outperformance on Mondays and underperformance on Fridays. Perhaps there's a trade opportunity where you go long that Friday weakness and sell on Tuesday to capture that Monday strength. Or what about Tesla? Its strongest month is June, but that strength wanes into the fall. Maybe traders should be looking for opportunities to cut long exposure towards the end of June in anticipation of the weaker months ahead. These are very basic ideas to consider, but you can go deeper with this analysis as well. For example, this year is an election year, and we all know that markets tend to act in unique ways during election years. With seasonality, you can actually see how they act. Let me show you how it works. Here in the scripting box, we can define specific times to exclude from the calculation. So if we want to only see performance during election years, we need to exclude all other years. As I add in non-election years into the box, notice how the columns are changing? That's the historical performance data changing in real time, and some interesting results begin to take shape. One thing we find is that energy names like CVX and XOM, they have very strong performance in April of election years. It's no wonder that XLE is doing so well right now. And if you're curious why tech is doing so poorly, well, look at Apple and Nvidia's election year seasonality. They're both historic weak in April. In fact, their strongest performance doesn't come until August. This understanding can help us to begin developing trade ideas. For example, if we had done this analysis on energy stocks at the beginning of this year, maybe we would have gotten into longs last month. Or looking out into the future, maybe we want to take advantage of the current weakness in tech to accumulate long positions to then sell into that late summer strength that we just identified. Perhaps, however, this form of seasonal data is not quite enough for you to find the conviction that you need to take a trade. You might be thinking, well, just because Apple tends to be weakest on Fridays and strongest on Mondays, that doesn't mean I should blindly take long positions over the weekend. Or does it? Well, we can actually find out. With the power of TrendSpider's strategy tester and a brand new indicator called the date and time indicator, we can actually define days of the week, weeks of the year, months of the year, and even time of the day as criteria for our entries and exits. To script that idea on Apple, you're going to use the day of the week option and define it as equal to a constant value of five. On the exit side, use the same day of the week option, but define it as equal to a constant value of two. That means that we're getting in on the open on Friday and then out on Tuesday's open. Interestingly enough, over the past four years, this simple strategy has beaten buy and hold on Apple by 25%. That's pretty impressive. What about the idea for energy? Is there alpha in buying the weakness that we see early in the year and selling after April? Well, we can test that too. Using the month of the year option, on the entry side, we can input that the month of the year is equal to a constant value of one. That'll get you in on the February open. On the exit side, say that month of the year is equal to a constant value of four, which gets you out on May's open. In both cases, for CVX and XOM, the strategy actually does perform pretty well. You've got 70% win rates for both names with an average return of 4 to 6%. Finally, let's check out that idea for Apple and NVIDIA. Let's let this week April get behind us, buy the May open, and sell the September open. Again, the results, they're not so bad. A 58% win rate for Apple with an average return of nearly 9% and a 64% win rate for Nvidia with an average return of over 16%. So there you have it, a deep dive into filtering seasonality and some actionable ways to employ what you learn in your favorite trading strategies. As always, we hope you find this video helpful. Happy trading, and we'll catch you next time.